do that. I've now improperly resized live split. Doing it very live. Let me get back here, live split. All right. Beautiful, perfect, love it. Okay, worked that time. I do have like a free six-ish seconds on the uh, start of the game because I like did some real dumb stuff. I will thank for that follow in a moment. I don't have the uh, thing up because I was messing with OBS. Anyway, I'm nice and warmed up now. Which is Sure took your sweet time getting here, Burb. All right, let's do it. X-Men Forever 222. Thank you for the follow. Thanks, Paquette. I will have run. I will do my best to have run. Matlock B, thank you for the follow. There we go. I'm getting better at a lot of these like kick jumps at the start too, which is nice. Of course, when I go back to the uh, to the city like this, it's like, wait, why don't I have two jumps? <laughs> I have to play the prologue, but the seconds are free. There we go. There we go. That was what I was trying to do last time. Wow, that was almost very bad. Oh, made it. Nice. Yeah, I'm getting some good some of the good tricks in. I'm just better overall, it feels like. Oops. Well, the answer is yes, it's weird. Ah, shit. Yeah. Headphones seem to be getting in the way of my uh, hands on the controller here. Also, come on. There. Wow, why? Why am I having trouble with this? This is weird. There we go. Oh! Oh, nice! Good gold split there. Probably only a few seconds. All right, this first part is mostly about moving around real nice, like not getting yourself caught on ledges while you dash.
Do that. Beat battle line very briefly. Oops. Oh, that was weird. Ah, damn it, I knew I was gonna do that eventually. If you're not careful there, you will like just basically fly over into the next screen with the jump with a good jump. Trying to get a little cute with these, so it's uh, not, you know? Not quite what I wanted. Not quite what I wanted. Uh, I should just go for that regularly if I miss it. I should just go for it regularly here. There's so many weird things you can do to make the, uh, to like spend a little bit less time here, but I'm not very good at a lot of them. Ah, shit, that was... Brain did a bad there. There we go. Alright, let's spend a little less time in this in the next room. Particularly this room. We got this. And the worst part about last time was like, I had gotten down here first try and then didn't, then I fucked it up a bunch of times all over last uh, that time, if I remember correctly. There we go, that was pretty good. Pretty, pretty happy with that. One thing that's sort of useful to keep in mind is that after you do one of those dash jumps, you can actually still keep a lot of your momentum if you just do a jump right afterwards. Um, which means that like, you don't always have to fully commit to that full distance when you do one of those, like when you're in the middle of doing some of those jumps. Osmosis Jonessa, thank you for the follow. There we go, that was a pretty good old site. We're off to the resort. Oops, didn't get the uh, dash jump there again for some reason. Yeah, it seems like I'm having a little difficulty chaining dash jumps for some reason. Or uh, hyper dashes. Oh, I can't believe I lived there. So yeah, that's the that's the uh, strawberry that we usually get. Well, we're not getting to this run though. So I didn't touch the ground. I wasn't touching the ground for long enough to get that there. So that's why I just didn't. That's why it just never appeared, basically. Oops, that wasn't what I wanted. Ah, shit. Didn't 
didn't get the distance I was expecting there for some reason. Oh god! Just made it! God, it's like I know I'm doing that room so slowly, but at the same time, I cannot imagine doing it any other way. Well, I can't imagine doing it other ways, but you know, I'm not quite good enough there yet. Oops. Ah, shit. I still have my dash there, damn it. Thought I had used it. Didn't get the speed out of that that I needed. There we go. Beautiful. Straight over the key. Beautiful. I think I've also gotten better at sort of just internalizing the uh, difference between the regular dash jump, which gives you more height, and the hyper dash, which is like more speed and more of like a straight trajectory, which is really useful in some places. Um, and that's sort of like huge for the speed run, like being able to do whichever one is, you know, most useful to you at any given time. Like being able to do either is good, but uh... Knowing which one you want to do at any given time is divine. Okay, wow, I'm shocked I didn't die in there. Ah, damn it, I was too far back. Oh, God. <laughs> Nothing I did there was the thing I wanted to do there. There we go. Art, all right, let's not do this with dash jumps. Literally, my brain is not equipped to handle this. Hey, I got that first try this time. Nice. Proud of myself. Fucking finally. Here, talk to this guy. Everyone's favorite gracious host, Mr. Oshiro. This room can be a bit of a bother, um, but with hyper dashes you can actually fly through it fast enough to like kind of ignore a lot of the uh, difficult parts. Ah shit, I didn't do the uh, wall kick there. These are now on the slightly different timer. Again! Ah, that's annoying. Alright, I got this. Well, I didn't do it a third time, but I did live, and you know, sometimes that's better, right? There we go. Books is done. Yeah, Hyper Dash lets you do a lot of things you really couldn't do otherwise. Oh, I almost just got that. By mistake. I hate this room. <laughs> I really need to just memorize the location.
You can totally beat that one, but or that dust bunny that's going up and down there, but only if you're there on the first cycle. Or like only like when you first show up at the room, damn it. I need him down on the uh, platform before I do the jump there. Whee! Now it took that pretty slow and steady, but we got it. Oh no, I missed it! Ah. Whoops! That's kind of funny. Oh yeah, I haven't actually seen a lot of Theo's, like, you know, we've never met kind of dialogue, because why would I not talk to Theo? There we go, not too bad. Cypher Sigil, thank you for follow. Like a half second there just to make sure I was, you know, lined up nicely. I died a bunch in this room trying to go fast, so let's not do that this time. Wow, I am kind of lucky I didn't hit a Dust Bunny there. He's on a slightly different cycle when you're doing this room for the first time. Ah, God. There we go. Alright, this is the last room before the uh, Shiro Chase scene. Nice! Uh, we actually, this, this felt really good. Alright, now we got to this room again. Ah, damn it. That was a really weird one. Take my sweet, sweet time in that room. Safety safe. Slightly different cycle than I usually am here. Turn first. Ah, damn it. If I had gone up there instead, I would have gotten that, I'm pretty sure. Also, if you, if you don't go at all, you'll get it. One try. This is a very easy room to get flustered in, so I'm gonna do what I can to not. go. Oh, that's gotta be good. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, strongly agreed, Manic Volcanic. As a general strat, not dying tends to be pretty good. Okay, Golden Ridge, the one that hurts my uh, thumbs. <laughs> Oh no! 
It is kind of funny that if you like super dash there, you get you immediately dunk yourself into a pool. I like to think that that was done on purpose. Slow than to do it dead. Ah, damn it. Wind pushed me before I could jump there properly. This one works out. Ooh, just barely. There we go. Nice. Alright. Try this one time. Nope. Didn't keep the jump there. Alright. Just gonna ride it. I will eventually get good enough to do this jump the silly way. This is not the time for that. Right. That shit. Try not to die on that spike there. I'm a little surprised I didn't die on those spikes. That's kind of becoming more natural to me, which is nice. Go ride that over. Pop up onto this guy. And get up this way. This, and then we can do some two jumps there. Whoop! And then go flying. And yeah, preferably no spoilers since, you know, we haven't. If we've only done speedruns of this game, not uh, full story playthroughs. So Quite a bit to discover still. Quite a few people. that I dodged that one there. Okay. Ah, right. I need to be, like, either hyper-dashing or throwing myself straight at it. I always forget that. Like, this section is quite, uh... Fairly exact. Oh god, didn't didn't actually expect the snowball to you know make contact there. Ah shit. Ah, 
Ah, damn it. I forgot I had another dive after that. Alright, though. Ah, shit. Couldn't quite get my stuff right there. There, I didn't get the uh, strawberry last time, so I had to do it this time. So I had to get this oh. one here. Oh, now we're talking. Oh, yeah, you're talking about the Instagram account that, the, that they have for it? Because that is very good. Those, like, low platforms that you can kind of see, uh, worth noting that those are, uh, you have to, like, slide under them, basically. Oops. Right. Whoops! There we go. Nice. Nice. These ones can be a bit tough to dodge, I remember. Um, I think partly because I have to do this slightly differently now that I'm like out, out of sync here. Ugh. Alternatively, wait for half a second. Yeah. When I die there, I need to wait uh, very briefly to, you know, be able to get that at the right time. out of this whack-ass mirror prison. Ah, damn. You can totally sneak your way in there. Uh, I think it has to be done with the, uh, whatchamacallit, like... By doing a dash into the room, that's like sort of the way you have to get that. It's a bit weird to describe. That whole sequence there where you're just going down a straight long hallway is kind of great though. I love that. Ah, damn it. I missed. That's weird, I didn't... I thought I had the timing right there, huh. Be good. I did the timing a little bit differently there. Normally there's like a specific way that I usually, that I do it, and like... Just going at it as fast as possible tends to work just fine. Oops, I missed. Evil mirror. Also, I don't know what death in particular you're talking about, but I'm happy to show you something new. I'm down there. This guy's movement is like real weird and you sort of have to understand it. Scenes. One of these days I'll start doing the real fancy jumps over there. Definitely feeling like more confident in my movement in general. Gotta say that. Of course, this section is, uh, hell. 
I missed. I was almost real smooth about that. That's one of those ones where you just do a dash jump straight out of the, uh, like out of the shield area there. You will always bounce off that guy and it looks sick as hell. Wow, I was not expecting him to get as far as he did there. Kind of in the way now. Now you're not. Thank you. That time you were outright helpful. Right, not gonna do the fancy pants shit there. All right. Gotta make sure I do this skip right. First we're approaching that whack ass crystal prison. Nice! First try. Nailed it. And yeah, the backwards vo vocals here are on a rainier syllable. Awesome! Oops, that was what I wanted. Yeah, when I miss stuff- when I miss stuff up in this room, um, it often kind of screws me up. Like, this is that guy. I literally like that you can jump off these guys and get your jump back. Like, I think that's a really neat little thing. Ah, every time. Every time. Not today, Satan. All right, whack-ass crystal prison time. Oops, I thought I wanted. There we go. You can really fucking get moving with Theo like, if you know how the uh, if you can know how to manipulate the movement. It's really good. By the way, uh, you will automatically hit a switch if you are standing with on it with Theo. Some combos, it's fine. <laughs> ah, Oh god, no, not again! Ah, damn it. There's some wacky shit you can do with the momentum on this board in particular. Not like that, though. Damn it! I need Theo to be closer to be allowed to walk through that. There's like some weird rules with the. Yeah, probably better just let Theo go instead of trying to uh, you know, ride on his momentum. Wow, I got real lucky there. <laughs> Shit! Ah, God. Well, 
love th throwing Theo to certain death there. Well, I think this section is gone pretty well. By the way, Theo isn't affected by the red spikes. Those are, you know, Madeline's business, but... Shit, shit, shit! Ah, almost. So you can just throw him straight through him. Well, today I learned that the monster, or that you can stand on those switches if they're down. Oops, nope, I need you, Theo. I still need you, Theo. Oh, almost. There we go. Oh. Okay, this is going well. Now, reflection, where I will probably just be using the analog stick for a lot of this, because wow, that seems easier. on top of him for that. Luckily it will uh, spawn right here. Funny because I don't really tend to use the PS4's joystick all that much a lot of the time. <laughs> Yeah, in this case, this is definitely the better play. It's gonna be interesting learning to switch between these two. Uh, Cause I do think I like D-pad for most of the game better, but this is these feather sections are honestly so much easier already. Shit, I didn't get my jump back. Oops! Got that shit, nice. By the way, you can still do the, uh, the dash jump, like, between screens, and it actually gives you much more, uh, forgiving timing. Oops. I don't didn't quite get the speed boost I would've wanted off that guy, but... In a... Oh, shit, I thought I was going into him there. Whoops! That was what I was trying to do. This level has like several different gimmicks that actually work together pretty well. I like it. And we get these bouncy pads, the like cash register noises. Um, the angry blocks. Whee! 
Of course, the battle at the end. I always have to take a second to set that one up. Alright. So the nice thing about the feather that I'm already noticing is that, like, the half second that you get to, uh, you know, like, start when you're transforming in the feather uh, is actually really good for switching over to the analog stick. I did it again. I keep expecting that to be a screen transition, basically. I think that's what it is. Alright, so once again, I am just going to hit this checkpoint real quick. Um, because clearly hitting the checkpoint is what actually allows me to do it in the first place, you know? It's like the one place in the game where I would actually use the analog stick, and uh, but it's like a huge help in the three flying feather section. Thank you to uh, the folks who suggested that. Here we go! Don't get crushed by that one block there. As funny as that would be. I have gotten so much better at this boss fight, it is actually kind of ridiculous. Oh, I thought I died there. And there! Huh. Whoops! Oh, that was weird. Missed her entirely there. Oh god, I spent so much time trying to dodge that, but it just didn't work for me. Analog that just because I was sort of in the middle of things there. Ah shit, I missed the uh, green bit. No. Played that a little safer than I could have. I didn't die there, but I'll take it. Okay. Ah! 
That was a little, a little more ballsy than I usually go for, also. Oops! I used my jump there way too early. Shouldn't have lived there. Go. I always forget some of the ones that send you downwards. Or that send you rightwards. Ah, damn it, I moved over to the side to get the damn book. I do love this room, because when it works, like, like when you do the thing correctly that it's asking you to do, it's like, oh my god, I'm amazing. We're not quite pressing that. God, if that last one had just hit me there, I would have laughed. <laughs> would have been sad, but I would have laughed. So I'd say this is going pretty fucking well. We are 45 minutes, we are 7 minutes behind, and like, honestly, there is a lot of time to regain at the summit here. Go it. I mean, it should be mentioned that this is the fourth run of this game, so it's not too surprising that I can get a decent number of gold splits, you know? Especially as I've been, like, figuring things out, like using the analog stick, as chat suggested. For, uh, flying section. Oops. That meant to be, uh, diagonal up. gonna be a lot of figuring out exactly where I should use my like second dash in this level for like optimizations and things because I think there's a lot of times like particularly in early run throughs of the summit where I uh, got to a place with the second dash where I could have used it much better basically you know, like 
there, for example. I easily could have snuck another dash in there for like a little extra speed, but that's all kind of part of the learning experience. A lot of the time it's sort of like just understanding where you are going to need your dashes and when you know they're already spoken for, basically. Ah, shit! Right, I gotta just go straight up there. This room is truly my white whale. shit again where I like went way too hard into a room not really knowing what I had to do afterwards which happens not quite what I wanted there I need to go up and right for the first dash on that second spring I think what's happening here I really like that there is sort of like a uh, well-defined difference between your two types of dash, like between your diagonal dashes and your uh, regular ones. Up through the Donkey Kong levels. Let's do this! Oops. Right, that was uh, diagonal. I always forget that there's like a wall on that one. I should have done I, like that's that's one of those places where there was like no reason for me not to do the another jump there. I just thought I could make it without it. Go, not too shabby. Beautiful. out of there. I gotta do the also jumping like out of these dream blocks a bit more often basically. That was weird, just never attached to the wall there. I think I got like right up to the wall but never was actually touching it. Wow, I got real lucky I didn't die there. Alright, let's not retry here before the cutscene starts. Oops, that'd be straight sideways. That was another one where I should have done it. I thought I was in a slightly better position than I was. Right At least don't be starting now. I got shit to do. There. Skip cutscene. Not retry. Very slight difference between those two. I feel like a lot of the time the uh, dust bunnies are like a uh, kind of keep your eye on the birdie sort of thing for me where like I'm paying attention to them to try to dodge the next one but I should really be paying a bit more attention to Madeline. Ah, oh, almost. I was just a little too far off there. Damn it, when I don't get this on the first try, it's actually like exponentially harder for me for whatever reason. There we go. I think mostly because I don't actually know the timing I need for it. Having some issues here. Trying to find like a good way to attack this. There 
go. Ah, little, little too high there. Bit of a coward about these things, but I mean, I've clearly shown that I can't really be trusted around them. Perfectly happy with this outcome, frankly. It was another one of those, like, I'll just wait here instead of, you know, getting myself killed several times trying to do the timing perfectly. Go up to the outside. Break this thing here. Slightly faster one. There we go. Got that without too much trouble, which is always nice. And we're in this room now, so let's do this one a little bit better than last time. Ah, wow, that one that, that put me higher than I was expecting it to. Oops. Oh! Sometimes I die I jump way too early there for whatever reason. Give that dust bunny its sweet, sweet time. Let's do it! Okay, up next we have the wind. I believe the uh, gold route here, t or the uh, world record, takes a different route than I do here, but eh. Eh. That one do a strange one. Welcome to my dark place. Oh, there we go. I'm just gonna label that custom combos and call it a day. I will say, there were a lot of, like, just normal challenges in this game that gave me a lot more trouble uh, in the first few speedruns than these, than it says. Like, I have been getting so much more confident just doing movement uh, in this game as a whole, and it's really cool. Ah, too far. Damn. I'm almost perfect. section with the wind going with us. Ooh, that was fancy. Oh. You can totally jump off this thing earlier, but <laughs> no thanks. Yeah, that. That the second one always kind of screws me up there, so I'm gonna do that the normal way. Grab onto this wall and throw myself into this. Alright, let's try not to get stuck in this room for quite so long. There 
go. Yeah, if I just hyper dash, that's generally fine. There we go. Did that room a little bit better, wouldn't you say? Alright, I need to jump up here. There we go. So I've actually bound one of my keys to a different button to... Or, like, I bound my jump key to the bumper buttons to be able to do that properly. Ah, damn it. I was expecting that to be upwards. Oh, right. I need to... Ugh. That was just bad thinking on my part. Let's right now. Sometimes the brain don't work. I'm a little lucky that I just made that, and by a little lucky, I mean a lot lucky. Oh my god. Oh man, that was almost really good. You have to be real careful not to dash straight into those uh, spikes on the other side of that. Oops. Got this. Here we go. Now we got this room. It's always nice when you actually remember what you're supposed to be doing at any given point in this game. Wow, I almost just fucked that up! Ha <laughs> ha! Boop! Alright. So, here we are again. to fuck up 24 as badly as we did last time. There we go. I gotta say, I've been doing a lot better at that last spring there, which always used to give me trouble. a lot better at sort of just spotting like what the game is expecting me to do at any given point. Which is a good skill to have. Yes, spring has sprung, as it were. Well, I sort of just saved that, which is nice. right there, but you know, rather do that at a checkpoint, right? There's a lot of, like, specific movements that come, like, much more naturally to me now as well. I really feel like I have a lot better handle on Madeline's overall movement.
There we go. This is looking pretty fucking good, I would say. You don't have to hit that, but I'm a bit of a coward. This bit is a bit tough, but we got it. There we go, we are on eight sips, and then I went to the wrong place there. That's all right. Seven. I'm also, like, remembering the sorts of things I can recover from versus the sorts of things where it's like, yeah, you're better off dying as quickly as possible. Do that again. I gotta remember to go and start going left there. It's weird that that's, like, a very specific thing that I tend to mess up, you know? Alright, we got this. Nice. <laughs> Bit of a save there. I'll take it. Do it! We got this! I am seriously hitting like every jump nicely here too, like doing doing what I actually want to do, which is nice. It's really Bit of a change from how things are sometimes when I'm in such a rush here. Ah, just a just over an hour. There we go. Oh fuck! <laughs> wow. Me, yeah. Holy Thank shit! Thank you. Wait, say. Woo too! Thank you for the who's! Oh, that feels good. Yeah, minus 1437. Of course, after that summit had some issues uh, on the last run, it's not that surprising that I dropped. <laughs> I basically doubled my time there. Oh my god.